You can't tell them shit. You 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 literally can't tell them shit. So I'm I'm on Facebook and I see um a, a post, uh, a friend of, of a group. I won't, I won't say a friend, but an acquaintance per se. I'm in this group and this woman posted a video. I mean a, a screenshot of her friend. And they're in a bitter argument over slut shaming. So this girl. Her last name is, I guess, Kimbo, or maybe that's her username. But anyways, this girl is making this argument that, you know, she's using the feminist rhetoric of my body, my choice, um, you know, women should have agency over their bodies 100%. You know, women should not be shamed for doing anything if they want to have sex on the first date. It's okay. If they want to do porn, it's okay. You know, if, if as long as it's safe, as long as it's it's fun to them, it's okay. And I'm like, golly, you know, we gotta work with these girls, man. I, I swear to God, man, I don't know what the hell is up with these chicks. You would think women like Aisha Curry is like setting an example for girls, but you'd be surprised. Like, like you, you will be surprised, literally, man, because these females don't listen. And, like, it, it's literally, like, with dudes, man, with, like, with, if I know dudes are trying to date younger girls and shit, but it's like, dude, they're already immature. And with, with women like Amber Rose setting the prime example and Superhead, it's like, fuck it. You, you just literally have to say, fuck it. I don't know what the hell niggas gonna happen. It, it literally got worse from the bullshit that was happening in 2008 where brothers were <clears throat> mad with sisters for dating thugs. Now it's like dating thugs or losers with, with a smile. <coughs> I, I literally don't know what, what, what has to be done, you know. <coughs> Man, I, I just don't know, man, because I, I know it's it's bad for my generation or my age range, but, man, I'm, I'm literally praying that, like, the girls of my little brother's age, he's 18, and I, I just kind of, I just really do hope that he can find a decent sister. I hope he can find a decent woman that won't get him in child support. Now, you know, I really have to school him on game when he starts dating seriously. You know, because I don't want him to be the bonehead loser. I mean, well, the bonehead, well, the stereotypical Negro who's, you know, mad at women because he's on child support. I'd rather my little brother brother be the lame, nerdy, uh, holier-than-thou, virgin-until-marriage type dude than to, you know, be the fast dude who wants to get it in college and then ends up getting a girl pregnant or catching AIDS. Or STD. STD. So, I you know it's you know I feel like there's a lot, there's a lot more hope, and this this is the issue that I have with the whole um, because I saw a video, some type of video from South Africa of women talking about women and dudes talk about slut shame and how they're against it. I'm really tired of women talking this dumb shit that. Oh, y'all niggas having all the sex. Y'all niggas be sleeping with any and all these women. It's like, s stop. Stop. Man, you got all these complaints on YouTube, Facebook about how educated lames can get with women. And you, you and these females literally think like niggas are like black men, black lames are like catching bodies and shit on the regular. Like, I, I, like, I really want to punch people. Like, one woman said, like, we all have whole tendencies. It, it, it's really gotten to the point to where really 